Okay, Whew, that was a lot of running up and down the stairs at LG HQ. And I got to see something awesome. The brand new rollable OLED R TV. Now, if you haven't watched this channel before and this is your first time checking out, definitely hit that subscribe button and notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. And of course, my name is Thunder E. So, LG invited me over to the HQ to check out their brand new rollable OLED. Now, we've seen this at CES, but you can actually buy the TV right now at LG.com. Go ahead and check it out if you want to or you dare want to see that price, which I'll tell you at the end. But I got to check out the new HQ and some of the cool things they have there. They invited me in, treated me like a celebrity. I was able to capture myself in front of fans and crowds. Singala was reigning supreme. No, sorry. I'm daydreaming again. My bad. But I also got to do a few things. Now, they had this cool uh, robot that could actually paint your picture and it did a portrait of me. Guess which one is me? Right here. See this guy right here? Yeah, that's me. Definitely. But it was a cool experience. And finally, we got to see that beautiful rollable OLED. Yes, this is a TV that rolls up and rolls down into the soundbar cabinet. It is truly awesome. And it is a premium experience. It's part of LG's signature line, if you will. Now, uh, it's a 65 inch rollable OLED, right? And in terms of the OLED panel, it is similar to the LG C1 OLED. So you're gonna have the similar OLED specs in that term. Now, of course, I had to do some gaming. So I bought over my PlayStation 5 and I had to, you know, put into some good use. Now, this TV definitely uh, hits the mark on the gaming aspect. You've got 4 HDMI 2.1 ports, so which means it'll support your gaming consoles, your PS5 or your Xbox uh, Series S or X. And it also has a game mode and some game calibration. So you can actually calibrate your TV to match your gaming experience. So everything you'd expect from an LG OLED, especially gaming wise, is in this TV. And boy, it looks good. I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. Moving from game to game, Spider-Man Miles Morales looks sharp. The cutscenes look great. The game looks fantastic. Moving over to Ghost of Tsushima, man, those colors really pop out. OLED can really do some amazing stuff. And even with the rollable OLED, which I thought might be a little bit degraded because it's a different piece of technology, it worked out really, really well. So all this game broke down. Even God of War, I mean, that also really looked good. For a game that's on, the, you know, from the PlayStation 4, playing on the PS5, that is, it was just amazing. Amazing to actually sit down and game on a TV like this. Now, this TV has a few cool things also packed into it, right? You've got a cabinet that it rolls into that is a sound bar, so giving you some really nice premium sound built into that. And also you've got an updated remote, which is nice and clean. LG, please move to this kind of remote structure for all your TVs, honestly. I love the way remote is, simple functionality, and WebOS is also improved, so you've got more functions into your smart home features and all that fun stuff if you're not gaming on the TV. Now, the cool part of the TV, of course, is that it rolls up and it rolls down. And the rolling animation is great. I like the fact that when you hit the button to roll it down, it literally starts de you know, degrading into black and the TV rolls down and you can keep it to, to have a little sliver uh, just out that has options for say playing music. So if you want to use the soundbar to just entertain guests with music, it is a nice centerpiece within the home. And the OLED panel itself is super thin. You can see the sides. This thing is just awesome. It is gorgeous. I'll say overall, my experience gaming on this TV was great. Now, granted, it was a short period of time because I got to spend the time with the TV at LG HQ and not over here. Now, you're wondering, Thunder E, what about price? Yes, this bad boy is sexy, it is great, and it is expensive. It's $100,000, so this is a premium TV. Now, granted, there's no other rollable OLED out there on the market, and LG has something that's unique here. And hopefully, that price drops down. You can definitely use the link down below if you want to check it out, if you want to buy the TV. If you just want to see what a $100,000 TV looks like, well, this is what it looks like right here with the rollable OLED. So, I don't know. If you have any questions or any comments, guys, let me know. I mean, um, I enjoyed my experience. I got portraits of me. I've got two different portraits of me. They're so lovely. I look great. I look absolutely fantastic here. And uh, at that point, I'll say thank you very much. Enjoy the video and I'll catch you in the next one.